Right now on Weather Center Live, we are tracking a wave in the tropics that could develop and threaten the U.S. next week. We have exclusive expert analysis of the timeline and what could happen next. Also on the right-hand side of your screen, we are tracking thunderstorms again in the northeast. We'll show you where you need to take cover. Weather Center Live continues right now. Good evening. You're watching Weather Center Live. I'm Chris Warren. And I'm Crystal Lager. Tracking severe weather. We want to get right to the latest, though, on that tropical wave that may threaten the U.S. next week. And, and here it is. So you can see we don't have an oppression. It's not a tropical storm yet. It's an area that we're keeping a close eye on. We have it circled for you. But look at the timeline. Uh, we're expecting it to move uh, over the uh, Lesser Antilles this weekend and then into the Caribbean. And then it starts to get a bit more uncertain exactly which route it's going to take. However, the forecast models we look at all pretty much in agreement and they have been in agreement for days to take this in this direction i mean this is what the models look like in your complete tropical update i'm going to show you this we actually have the models that we look at to help forecast these storms i'm going to show them to you coming up in just about 20 minutes and they're all going in that direction so that gives us confidence that this is going to be moving closer to the u.s so based on that our exclusive threat level here for this Atlantic tropical wave that we're watching, it does now include a threat to the U.S. We are watching from the Florida Keys all the way up to southeast Georgia. And if this does move inland, whether it's the inside track around the, around the west side of Florida or up the other side of Florida, this does have implications for the interior U.S. as well. We are seeing the threat for some strong storms right now in the Northeast. That's something else we're keeping a close eye here on Weather Center Live. Take a look here at Times Square, New York. And you can see it's hard to even look out the camera lens. The rain's been coming down so hard and so heavy, it's hard to make out exactly what's going on. But you can see here uh, that the streets are wet. There's still people walking out there, and those storms are moving through Manhattan right now, uh, moving uh, into Long Island. Look at this. This is the top of the rock uh, in midtown Manhattan. You're looking to the south. So you can see the outline of the top of the right there. A flash flood right warning down has down. been issued for your area. Front of it and of course the lightning as well so hopefully people are taking cover in manhattan right now because those strong storms are moving in a live look right now it is dark we're not quite the sunset yet in new york but it is extremely dark it is already looking like night here is a look at the northeast from western massachusetts all the way down into the baltimore dc area and even a little bit farther south than that we are seeing a whole line of storms whole mess of storms kind of making it into a line here and the white flashes you see, uh, the, that's the lightning detection data showing us that we do have lightning with this. Of course, with the thunderstorms, makes things dangerous. You're looking at the storms there on the right and on the left, you see New York City. And we just saw those flashes uh, throughout uh, downtown uh, New York. And you can see the lightning detection data really clustered right there. And these storms now moving off into Long Island. Remember last weekend, all the rain we had? We have saturated ground here on Long Island, a good portion uh, of the northeast here so it's not gonna take much this green here flash flood warnings it's not gonna take much to get some problems out there on the roadways with all the flooding also some very strong winds associated with this in New Jersey wind gusts up to 58 miles an hour so uh, these storms are packing a big punch and you can see the areas uh, we're expecting this to move through as we get into a uh, Long Island within the next 30 minutes or so things are really gonna get rocking for you too so Long Island it is heading your way Crystal all right, so the Megalopolis targeted once again tonight. We want to get expert analysis with our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes. Dr. Forbes, we're seeing the lightning and the rain come down. What is your biggest concern as these storms move through tonight? Probably street flooding because it is raining cats and dogs out there, torrential rain that with the combined with that uh, saturated ground and the urban areas that Chris was talking about. Some of this lavender here just to the east of uh, New York City around the Flushing area and up around Cliffside Park here in Queens. Very heavy rain, could be some small hail as well. And these storms moving rather slowly, about 20 miles per hour now, mainly consolidated in one cluster here trying to be a bow echo. Could be some damaging winds with that. And that's heading toward the Glen Cove area, the Kings Point area. Now, I've drawn this line from Newark over to beyond Glen Cove because the anvil, the high clouds from the thunderstorms, actually are already out there. So they're sort of leading the way. I'll slice this up into the vertical. And here is where that heavy rain and the hail is down near Flushings. 
Uh, but the anvil, the high clouds, extend all the way now beyond Glencoe, out about 25 miles ahead of the storm. So pretty tall storms, 40,000 feet tall there, nearly eight miles high. And with torrential rains, they could be raining two inches per hour. And the ground can only hold less than an inch per hour. So street flooding imminent. Take care. Don't drive through any flooded roadways. Crystal? All right. Great reminders there, Dr. Forbes. We'll continue to watch severe weather unfolding here in our big cities across the Northeast. Once again, millions impacted out there tonight. The Phillies delayed last night at the ball game, delayed in D.C. tonight playing the Nationals. Big delays at the airports. It's going to be tough getting around until we ride out the storms. The very latest on this and our troublemakers in the tropics. That's straight ahead on Weather Center Live. Thank <laughs> you.